is up welcome back to the channel family you already know what time it is gang gang we understand make sure y'all hit the subscribe button to be a part of crew smash that like button to see what it do y'all okay so let's get into this reading for you this is going to be this is going to be for my which one that i didn't do yet i'm gonna put in a title taurus there we go <laughs> I know I had one of them on my mind. It's like, you know what? I haven't put up Taurus yet because I forgot last time. All right, so let's get into it. Oop. Why y'all got everything coming out? Let's see what y'all got coming your way. All right, so Taurus right here. We got the door to romance and the door to value saying that right now there's somebody that you want to open up to. And, okay, yeah, there's somebody with their door to romance, somebody that you're going to romantically open up to with the value court, the door to value. You're going to show that you value this person with the fourth chakra archangel, uh, Raphael. You're going to be vulnerable to this person with the storm warning. This one's being in reverse and that you're trying to avoid chaotic situations between the two of y'all. But at the same time, with the walking away card, this one being in reverse, at times you be feeling like leaving this connection alone. So they must be getting on your nerves sometimes. And with the angel of balance and the fifth shock of Archangel Gabriel, you don't trust them whenever it comes to them uh, maintaining balance in your life. So whoever it is, it seems like you don't trust this individual. It's like you want to have a romantic connection with them, but then at the same time, it seems like things is rocky. Uh, it seems like you're not too sure of like them being able to handle your lifestyle maybe being able to deal with your lifestyle okay and then we have the attachment card in the garden and the gate card which is saying that right now you're trying to detach yourself from not being able to trust this person or not feeling like you trust them and you got the male holding the heart and the financial constraints and the victory card it's saying that this is somebody to where you had a past. Y'all was connected. This is somebody that you used to talk to before. And with the financial constraints and the mail on the heart, this is somebody that you used to give money to. With the thinking with McCart, it's like you've been sitting back thinking about this individual in terms of trying to have a long-term relationship with them. And you plan on like, so it's like you plan on handling things differently this time around. So it's saying that your love connection was about money. Your love connection was about money. And so it seems like you had to leave this situation alone or either they ended up leaving you alone because they felt like they wasn't able to trust you. And then also, you be found like you needed to touch feelings. Y'all got a lot going on for Taurus, okay. And with the world card, you're not able to see that right now. You need to chill out because with the magician in the mirror, you be making bad choices whenever it comes to who it is that you love with that angel love card. And with the second chakra archangel Ariel, this one being in reverse. So right now, you're not seeing the fact that you need to chill whenever it comes to your sexual connections or intimate connections because you be making bad choices whenever it comes to love and relationships. Ooh, Taurus. What is going on here? You in it for the money? <laughs> okay, and it's saying it's smart for it's smart for you to sit back. So you need to be wise. And um, whenever it comes to the temple path, this one being in reverse, you, it's saying that you need to be smart and break up with this person and actually like stick to your guns with it. Like actually like be serious about it with the angel of strength. It's saying it's smart for you to break up. And with the goddess of the moon in reverse and the boss of abundance, it's saying that right now, this person going to be feeling negatively about you. Feeling like they need to let you go because things not working with that boss of abundance being in reverse. So, yeah. It's like, even if you did try to come back, this person going to be feeling like they want to let you go for it. Hold on. And that's the number three. So this is a situation that you must have got yourself into, Taurus, and created. All right, let's see. Let's get into the shadow cards. Which say that right here... 
Okay, with the high priestess of the earth, sometimes you don't be thinking. You just be looking for a sense of belongingness. And with the moon card, that one being in reverse and the invisible card, you don't be sitting back watching other people's feelings. And with the movement card, that one's in reverse. So it's like not all the time you take action towards caring about other people's feelings. With the trap card, that one's in reverse. And the chaos card, you try to avoid drama. So you try to, so when you know that you done did some shit, you try to avoid it. So this will be you not picking up somebody calls, text messages, you know what I'm saying? Like you kind of like ghosting them in order for you to like kind of let the situation just die down type shit. And that is seven. Yeah, so um, y'all got to stop. Okay. Anyways, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.